Let's say we want to right click and add a plot. So let's add a plot. How do we know which plot is selected? It's the select option on the left. See, it says SEL, uh, right symbol, right pointy symbol, right pointy symbol. Okay, so let's plot power. Go to plot. Oh, and uh, well, what you could do is a little trick here. So let's go to the schematic and I right click and view results and see it turns from being gray into being red. Let's see if it automatically plots on the selected graph and it does. Now the current here has been plotted. Mm, I'm not interested in that. Just delete the current. And I see 40, something less than 40 milliwatts on here. You know what? Let's right click and add another plot. This will be for the current. So now, but you know what? Instead of adding the current from this here, by right clicking and choosing view results, which does work quite fine, you know. You can also right click on the plot and then choose to add a trace. We'll get into some trace adding at some point. All right, so let's say you simulated a circuit and you want to add a trace to the plot, but it, you don't have, you really don't have marker probes for your schematic circuit. How do you add whatever you feel like onto your plot, onto your uh, graphs? So you just right click, choose add trace. And let's say I want the current or voltage, or even the wattage going through R2, right? I can click OK and add that. And then I see that it's a little less than 40 millivolts of power going through or being dissipated by R2. If I want, I can delete this power graph and then go down here instead. Select this, then right click Add Trace, Add Power for R2. I already have power for R1. Oh, they're dissipating the same amount of power. Interesting. Let's go back up to our current plot and add yet another trace. Maybe you want to add hmm, the current coming out of V1. Click OK. Same deal, but that's to be expected. This is how you can add traces and plots, well, traces to your specific plots. You can also click on a trace and even double click on it. Or better yet, right click on the trace and choose trace property. Now these traces are always so thin by default. I like to set them to something thicker. So I change the width from this pencil, this pencil thin, hairline thin thickness to something a little thicker. So click OK. Yeah. Then I right click. You know, uh, trace information is interesting. You can see what's going on with the information on the trace. But let's right click, trace property, and change the purple one to it. You can change it to a dashed line, change the width, which has already been changed. Click OK. And there you go. That's how you can add traces to your piece by simulation plot after you run simulation.